without short term wins too many employees give up or they actively join the resistance major change is often said to be impossible unless the head of the organization is an active supporter In this video uh, we will be looking at the summary of the book uh, Leading Change by John P Carter. In the year 1994 uh, the author wrote an article named uh, Leading Change Why Transformation Efforts Fail. In Harvard Business Review based on his uh, experience in bringing significant changes in organizations. The article became a great hit instantly. People did accept the mistakes that organizations make in the article and the helpfulness of the eight stage change framework that became the baseline for this book comparing the article the book contains more examples of what works and what does not john paul cotter uh, is a professor of leadership at the harvard business school he is an emeritus which means uh, uh, he is retired but he can keep his uh, title as an honor In the year 2008 he co-founded uh, Carter International a business consulting firm that uses his own research to consult on large scale changes. John Carter has authored almost 18 books and 12 of them are best sellers in that. This book uh, is split into uh, three parts and has 12 chapters. The book's essence is uh, Carter's eight stage process for change that comes actually in part 2. Part 1 is all about the uh, change problem and its solutions. It talks about eight common mistakes organizations make while uh, working on change initiatives and also its consequences. The eight mistakes are um, allowing too much uh, complacency, failing to create a sufficiently powerful guiding coalition, underestimating the power of vision, under communicating the vision by a factor of 10. permitting obstacles to block the new vision failing to make short term wins declaring victory too soon and as well as neglecting to anchor these changes firmly in the corporate culture the uh, consequences because of these mistakes are new strategies are not implemented well acquisitions do not achieve expected synergies reengineering takes too long and costs way too much downsizing doesn't costs under control quality programs does not deliver the hoped for results in part 2 the author explains the eight stage process in very much detail so what is the so called uh, eight stage process that uh, successfully implements change let's see establishing a sense of urgency creating the uh, guiding coalition developing a vision and as well as strategy communicating the uh, change vision empowering a broad based action uh, generating short term wins and uh, consolidating uh, gains and producing uh, more change the last anchoring new approaches in the culture each stage is explained with steps and as well as examples there are uh, good ways of implementing these stages briefed in respective chapters Part three has uh, details about the 20th century and as well as the 21st century organizations, and uh, compares these two. The author offers information about uh, individuals and organizational leadership and lifelong learning habits of them. John Carter's legendary eight-step process for uh, managing change has become the foundation for leaders and organizations all over the globe. one can avoid mistakes during a uh, change initiatives by actually going through this book some quotes which i personally like from this book without short term wins too many employees give up or they actively join the resistance major change is often said to be impossible unless the head of the organization is an active supporter see you at the next book summary